I love getting out and visiting farms. Today, I'm in Baxter visiting Adam and Chris from Shures and Sons. These guys grow amazing leeks and celery and they grow amazing amounts of it. We're gonna catch up with them, have a chat and learn all about growing these beautiful vegetables. So Chris, how'd you get started in farming? How did it all begin? Well, um, our family or our grandparents came out from the Netherlands in the late 50s and um, they started their business in 1963. Wow. Renting uh, 17 acres uh, in Dingley. Amazing. And yeah. growing multiple vegetables. Yeah. Um, one of them was in celery. Yeah. Others were Dutch carrots, which they introduced to Australia, funnily enough. That's cool. And then in the late 1960s, uh, 69 in fact, they purchased 70 acres in Clyde. and. We started specialising in salary and all took off from there. It's come a long way since then to all of this and amazing produce. In 2014, we identified some land down in Tarwin, yep. 150 acres, uh, which we took a, took a bit of a punt on uh -huh. it and uh, started developing that. Yep. And pretty much well, two weeks after settlement, um, next door came up for sale, another 722 oh, odd perfect. acres. That's good timing. <laughs> yeah, but no money, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so we knocked on the door of uh, our friends at Rabo yeah. and uh, asked them for some help. Yeah. You know, they understood agriculture totally. and they understood um, what we we're trying to do and what we we're trying to achieve, not just today, but tomorrow as well. And they've been, you know, very flexible and understanding. And, you know, I think that agility in that relationship mm. and getting where we want to get to has Love been a uh, tremendous help for us. So all that celery and leek that you're growing, Chris, who's eating that? Where does that end up? Well, hopefully you eat some. I, I do. <laughs> but, yeah. um, domestically, right? Yep. All the interstate, uh -huh. so mainly Queensland, uh, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, yep. uh, Tassie, and occasionally over to WA, and internationally. Oh, yeah, so wow. we, we're servicing uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, yeah. occasionally to Japan, and consistently to Dubai. Wow. Emirates. Yeah, so I love really that. Good. I love that, that people all over the world are eating amazing Australian grown celery. It's pretty an incredible effort. Thanks, Rogers. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's been of. something that we're very proud of, and, yeah. uh, and something that's given us a little bit of a kick to our business and something a bit different, too. Oh, that's great. And we really enjoy doing it. Today I'm in Baxter on the Shrewer and Sons Celery Farm. You can see behind me celery as far as the eye can see. So of course I'm going to cook you guys up a delicious celery dish. We're going to make celery slaw with a blue cheese dressing and some lovely barbecue grilled buffalo chicken. So the first thing we need to do is get that chicken marinating. We're going to make a really quick little glaze or marinade to go over our chicken. So Frank's hot sauce is the classic hot sauce for buffalo chicken. So we're going to add that in. But you could use whatever hot sauce you have at home or whatever hot sauce you like. And then we're going to match that with a little bit of honey as well for some sweetness and to help our chicken char. Little pinch of salt in here and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil just to help everything caramelise up. And that is as simple as my dressing is. Really quick mix together. So there's our marinade mixed together. Now I'm just gonna get some chicken thighs. Traditionally, buffalo chicken is made with wings, but I really like this recipe with thighs to make it more of a salad rather than you know a nibble or a snack. So we're gonna go in with, I reckon four chicken thighs will work well. And then all I do is just give this a turn and a little marinade to make sure that every bit of chicken is coated in that lovely spicy sweet dressing. We're going to go onto a really hot barbecue. You could do this in a grill as well, even in your oven would work, but have a look at that. That's what we're after, that nice smoke that's going to char our chicken thighs, caramelise that glaze and give us loads of flavour. Plus, there's nothing like cooking outdoors for me. If you can chuck this on the barbecue and cook dinner really quickly and easily outside, I don't know why you wouldn't. So what we're going to do now is keep that just to glaze our chicken along the way. Should take a couple of minutes on each side. Have a look at that beautiful char you get on the top there. That's what we're looking for. Paint on the extra bit of our glaze.
we're gonna make a really quick blue cheese dressing. So it's the other component I've taken from buffalo chicken wings. I always love my buffalo chicken wings served with a blue cheese sauce. First ingredient is obviously blue cheese. You want a nice soft blue cheese you can kind of crumble into your bowl here because we kind of want to mash it up and mix it up and let it break up into our dressing. So we're going to go into that little pinch of sea salt, one garlic clove chopped finely or grated. We're also going to add in a dash of apple cider vinegar. You can add some lemon juice here. You just need something a little bit sharp to cut through all the richness and the fat of that cheese. And then buttermilk. So that's the other ingredient that's going to help cut through the fat and also be the base of our dressing. So buttermilk is the milk and the liquid that comes off butter when you churn it. So you get the solids become butter and the milk that comes off is the buttermilk and it's got a really bright lactic acidic flavour and it goes super well with grilled chicken. So all I'm doing now is just kind of mashing the blue cheese till it all breaks up, just very delicately until you're at the stage where you can whisk it. I don't mind if there's a few chunks of blue cheese in our dressing, but we don't want any big lumps. And now, just to finish it off, some black pepper, buffalo and blue cheese sauce always loves a bit of black pepper. And to freshen everything up, I've just got some chives here. We're gonna finely slice. That is as easy as a blue cheese dressing is to make. This goes perfectly with any kind of chicken dish, although it's, you know, mainly served with chicken wings. It goes awesome as a side for a roast chicken. And it also goes really well for just a, you know, roasted or charred green vegetable salad as well. So chives in, one last little mix together to incorporate the pepper and the chives. So that dressing is looking perfect. Now it's time to make a quick celery slaw to go with it. In this bowl, I've got some already shredded vegetables. You can add whatever you like. I've got carrots, spring onion, some parsley, and then this guy here, which is kohlrabi. It's a nice crunchy vegetable, root vegetable, that you can sort of add to something to add really fresh crunches. Almost got the texture of apple without that bright, sweet flavor. And it goes really well in this dish. And now for the star of our show, this beautiful celery that was in the ground this morning. It's gonna be super sweet, really crunchy. And all we need to do is just grab our celery and slice it into little half moons, nice and thin. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go most of the way up the celery so we cut some of the heart and the little yellow leaves in the center as well, because they've got excellent flavor. Until we get to this leafy bit. And that is about enough celery, almost a whole head for this slaw. Into our bowl. And we're gonna dress this with our blue cheese dressing, keeping some back to finish off. So go about half in there, and then just give that a nice stir together until all those crunchy ingredients are coated in that beautiful blue cheese dressing. That slaw looks awesome. You can see all of the individual little bits of veg are nice and dressed and coated in our blue cheese sauce. Now it's time to check our chicken. Have a look at that beautiful char you get on the top there. That's what we're looking for. Nice and caramelized. All we want to do now with a little pastry brush is just paint on the extra bit of our glaze onto the chicken once you turn it over. And we've done most of the cooking on one side, so it's probably gonna, only gonna take about another minute, minute and a half to finish cooking that. Our chicken has finished cooking and it's rested. Now it's time to plate this guy up. A nice big spoonful of that celery slaw on the bottom of our bowl or plate. Making sure you get loads of celery in there. And then just a little extra drizzle over the top of our blue cheese dressing, just like so. And now just give our chicken a quick carve, just into nice bite-sized pieces so you can eat your salad with a fork nice and easily. Just chuck that on the top. Little sprinkle of some chives over the top and then some walnuts to finish just for a bit of crunch and texture. And there you have my beautiful salad, that lovely crunchy fresh celery, the blue cheese dressing and that buffalo chicken on top. Big thanks to Adam and Chris from Shrewers and Sons for having us here today and growing this amazing celery for us. 
these recipes and loads of others, check out farmtofork.com.au. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys very soon.